Hey what's going on guys, it's Coding Toads, and welcome back to a brand new video. And yes, it has been a while since I've uploaded a coding video, but um, I've been really busy with a lot of work, but I've been developing a website for a national Olympics in my country, and I got the chance actually to go to the national round, so that's upcoming. Um, but yeah, enough about that. Um, before I begin the video, I first want to thank you for 200 subscribers now. This is actually freaking amazing because um, when I started YouTube, I knew that um, programming tutorials aren't very popular on YouTube. So I was kind of thinking about 100 subscribers and staying there for like forever. But now all of a sudden I have 213 subscribers. I just want to thank you guys so much. I, you have no idea how much that means to me. But yeah, so um, on to the video. So what, I, what I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be teaching you how to create a responsive website. So what that means is that it changes how it looks um, depending on the uh, screen or the device. So basically this I created this little website really simple um, just for this video so um, w we can see that if we start to shrink the screen it doesn't change it actually disappears so it's gonna look just like this on a d mobile device and we don't want it to look like this now let's say we want left to be under top and right to be under left so it's just one column so I'm gonna show you an example with uh, one of the sites that I've created for clients. So it's this one. Um, it's a pretty simple website. So you can see how it looks um, on a regular desktop. But when we start shrinking the screen, you can see that um, the cards changed. So they're one under each other. And basically the whole whole page changed. Also the navigation. So I'm gonna show you how to do exactly that. Um, we need to refresh the website so it um, loads. There we go. So we're going to be using um, CSS Media Queries. Now you can use JavaScript or jQuery, but I just haven't mastered that yet. So basically, we're going to be using Media Queries to create responsiveness. So um, what are Media Queries and how do we use them? Well, Media Queries are actually CSS. Um, Figures, let's say, that um, make the web page change according to the max width or the minimum width that you set the query to be. So here's an example of a query right here. I went to w3schools.com. So this is a media query, and you can see that uh, it said the min width to be 480 pixels. So that means that when you start to resize, the browser is going to change its background. So, um, how do we use them? Well, actually we use them just like this. It's pretty simple. We just write the media query, uh, query uh, opening and closing bracket, and inside you just write the element that you want to change and the whole CSS. So, I'm going to show you that in just a bit, but let me just uh, show you a little bit more. So, there are a lot of types of media queries, um, but I always do all. So, um, there is screen um, and a lot of other that actually print, screen, and speech are the most common used. The other ones, I don't think they're in use at all. But I just do all so it looks even on all kinds of screens. Um, so, also we can set it to be a max. Uh, height, max, uh, min height, max width, and a lot of stuff like this, you can see it. You can go ahead and check it out for yourself, but yeah, let's get right into it. So I have um, thought of my own media creators right here. So these are the ones that I used in the other website that I just showed you. Um, and basically they work on all devices that I've tested, plus I went to uh, resizer.co and you can test your website there so I, th I think I did a video in the past uh, about that so you can see it that you can check it out on Galaxy S5 and landscape and stuff like that so yeah and you can test it and I've tested them and they work on all devices 
So let's get right into coding. So I like to like some people actually like to do it uh, to create the media queries in a separate CSS file, but I like it to be in the CSS file that I've created for the main um, styling of the page. So I always like to do it on the bottom. So I'm just gonna put a comment uh, media start of media queries. This and just and actually no end. So now I'm just gonna actually before we started the media queries, I forgot to mention one thing. We need to put this meta tag in our head, um, and I'm gonna explain in just a second. So I'm just gonna paste it in my head, and uh, this is the viewport meta tag is um, basically a tag that controls the display of your content on your website um, on different screens so you can put on width equals 500 pixels when it's viewed so the actually the width of the main body is 500 pixels um, initial scale one that means that when the browser is loaded um, the scale is going to be one on the mobile device it can be 10 so it's going to be really really zoomed in and user scalable equals no well I set it to no because I don't want people like zooming and scrolling on the side of my website because it might mess up things with uh, those CSS media queries. So I just set it to no. Um, you can set it to yes, but it's your opinion, it's your choice. So let's get right into the media query. Um, we're gonna jump right in the CSS and I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this. So the first media query is actually for max width of 961 pixels that is basically for tablets and maybe a little maybe bigger phablets but yeah in portrait mode I mean in landscape, in landscape mode so what you're what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna copy the whole code because you're actually gonna copy everything that you want to change and you're not gonna write it all over you're just gonna copy it and let me just tab it in a little bit so it looks better. Like this. And now it looks way really better. And even if you want the body to, um, I mean, you can remove the body, but I'm just gonna add background color. Background color of, let's say, green. No, actually, um, light blue. Um, even if I just wanna add one thing, I can't remove the whole other things. Like, let's say I want to change, uh, actually I'm going to show you just a little bit, but uh, yeah, I'm going to refresh the page, and now you see when I uh, actually resize the page, it changes to light blue. So this is perfect, but I'm going to remove it, because I don't want it. And actually I can go ahead and remove the whole body, because I'm not going to be changing anything of the body. I'm going to be changing the wrapper. So basically how this website is set up is, there's a main wrapper, and inside there are just a lot of other elements. So I'm gonna change the wrapper. So let's say I want to have width of 100% and a height of um, let's see. So 100. So this is 100. Then it's gonna have 50. Then 100. So 150, 150, 250, 300, and 300. So 400 pixels actually. I hope that's right. So, um, background color yellow. So, let's see this. Yeah, um, actually, it might be a little bit more, but we'll see. So, um, I'm gonna create it. Let me just see this. Okay, now look, we don't wanna have it left 50%, so we're not gonna remove it. We're just gonna change it to zero. And also, the same for margin left. Because if I remove the left, it's just gonna take the default one from up here, left 50%. So we're just gonna um, put in left. So all the attributes, you're just gonna write them again, you're just gonna style them. You're not gonna be deleting them. Because if you delete them, it's gonna change to its default one. So main, I think this is the top one. So I'm just gonna leave it like this. Um, actually, no, I'm gonna change it with to 100%. Uh, left zero. I'm not gonna delete it and same for margin left So let's see it. Yep, perfect There we go And you can see that already it looks way better 
so okay um maybe i'm gonna i'm actually gonna delete this um yeah it's good so i'm gonna delete it because i'm not gonna be styling it actually i'm gonna be no i'm, I'm gonna leave it like this so um i'm gonna give this a width of 90 percent let's say and then i can add actually attributes so left 50 percent margin left uh, minus 45 percent i can add attributes but i just can't delete them because if i delete them they're gonna take their default um style so uh let's see this oh yeah also display block and uh i want to have height of 100 pixels okay um i meant actually i meant width of 100 percent so i'm just gonna move this and the left also gonna remove this now i removed these because they're not in here i just added them and i'm just deleting them right now um and top 150 Um, you know, the width, I don't like the width, or the height, because the height is close to 100%, I mean 100 pixels, okay, now this looks good, so wait, let me just put it like this, and now I can go ahead and actually change the last piece, so I'm just gonna add a new attribute of padding, um, zero, let's see this, um, okay, minus, minus 20 pixels. Um, okay, I can remove this so I can put in margin top minus 20 pixels. Oh, um, 20 pixels. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. So, 30 pixels. Let's see this. Um, actually, let's put it in 25. There we go, perfect. So now you can see that they're one under each other. Now I'm gonna do the same for the right. So, oops, sorry. All right, so, um, position absolute, there we go. Width is actually gonna be 100%. Height, 100 pixels. Top, it's gonna have a top of, um, 300 pixels. Uh, right zero. Okay, that I'm gonna really like this. So now they're one under each other, and this is actually exactly what I wanted to do. So I'm also gonna change it to uh, margin. I'm gonna change the paragraph so margin top paragraph pixels. Um, there we go. So now it's gonna look like this on devices that have a minimum width of. I mean a maximum width of 961 pixels so this is actually really good because if I view it on a phone it's gonna look like literally um, like an application which we do uh, and so yeah this is actually perfect for mobile devices and um, you can actually put all of these actually I have put them all these in other um, in my other website that I showed you earlier um, but yeah, so according to uh, what the max width or the min minimum width you want it to be, uh, you just put in the media query you want. You can create your own media query, like let's say uh, um, a minimum width of 1000 pixels. So that's basically for huge desktops. So, I mean, not huge, but like normal. Actually, 1,000 pixels. No, actually, this is for a regular laptop like mine, like a 15-inch laptop. So yeah, um, I'm actually I'm gonna show you how important the viewport tag is. So when I remove it. Look what happens. No, oh, well actually it works. So sorry about that in my mind, but because we're on a desktop, when we go and view it in a uh, mobile device, it's if there's no viewport device. Um, it might look very very messed up so yeah um, sorry for the long tutorial um, I tried to explain it as good as I can 
Hope you guys enjoyed, and if you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. I always try my best to respond as soon as possible. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And um, actually, before I go, I hope you got um, I want you guys to leave a recommendation for a video down below because um, I really don't have a lot of ideas of what I should record. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.